Well, of course, right, we have pancetta, egg yolks, pecorino, but today we're really gonna focus in on our tofu pancetta. We have been obsessing, well, we, I mean, mostly me, has been completely obsessing about tofu and we've kicked it up another notch where we're adding a glazing step to the tofu. So we really have nailed down the pancetta in the carbonara recipe. We're gonna take tofu that looks like this and turn it into tofu that looks like that. It's gonna be ridiculous. The glaze for the tofu pancetta starts with a quarter cup brown sugar, one tablespoon ground mustard, one tablespoon smoked paprika, and a teaspoon of kosher salt. Use your pastry brush to give it a quick little stir. We're gonna add three tablespoons of molasses, one a tablespoon of plum wine vinegar, a teaspoon of liquid smoke, two tablespoons of grapeseed oil. We're gonna use our pastry brush again to incorporate the wet into the dry. Now we're set, we're ready to go. For the tofu, we place the tofu in a brine. The brine, I'm gonna quickly go over. If you want a full detail, it's in the katsu video, which we could link in the description. So we have two cups water, a half a cup of soy sauce, two tablespoons plum wine vinegar, two tablespoons cane sugar, one teaspoon kosher salt, half a teaspoon garlic powder, half a teaspoon ground ginger, half a teaspoon poultry seasoning, one teaspoon Marmite, and one tablespoon molasses. Essentially, we brought that liquid to a low simmer. We placed the tofu in it, cooking it 10 minutes on each side, then putting the tofu in the freezer overnight. The tofu's thawed, and here we are. Take the tofu out of the brine. We're gonna place the tofu on a drain rack. That drain rack is gonna be placed on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. We're gonna glaze the top of the tofu. We're gonna gently flip the tofu so that the glazed side is now facing down. We're gonna continue to glaze the entire surface of the tofu. We're then gonna place the tofu in the oven preheated to 400 degrees. We're gonna glaze the tofu every 15 minutes and the tofu's gonna cook for around an hour and a half. This is the second Second glazing of the tofu. You can see it's already really starting to change. The edges are getting a little crispy, the color's deepening, the brine is starting to evaporate, and the tofu is becoming firmer. It is going to really be the anchor to this pasta carbonara. So let's talk about the sauce a little. How's, yeah. our, how's ours different than just everyone out there? Our sauce, of course, there, there are crossovers and similarities, and this even has some of the foundation of like our mac and cheese sauce. So we're taking uh, the elements of pecorino, which has earthiness, it has a bit of sharpness. We're taking elements of the egg yolk, which has a lot of richness and a touch of sweetness as well. So we're gonna replicate that through putting ingredients like plum wine vinegar, rice wine vinegar. We have sweet white onion in there for the sweetness. We have wood of the ear mushroom for the earthiness. We're gonna puree all that with cashews and tapioca starch and really replicate the overall feel of a carbonara sauce. The base to our carbonara sauce starts off with one tablespoon rice wine vinegar, two tablespoons plum wine vinegar, a little generous with that, one cup of vegetable stock, one cup of plant milk, and a quarter cup of grape seed oil. Next, we're gonna add a half of a white sweet onion roughly chopped, one carrot roughly chopped about a half a cup, one and a half cups of cashews, two wood of the ear mushrooms, three garlic cloves, one tablespoon yellow miso, a teaspoon of kosher salt. Next, we're gonna stir that up to incorporate the miso. We're gonna turn the pan on low and we're gonna cook very slowly for 30 minutes. It's time to puree the sauce when the carrots are tender when you pierce it with the tip of your knife. After we've checked the carrots, it's time to puree the sauce. As you know, as I always say, I'm always saying it, it's time to make it super smooth and velvety. That's right, we want the sauce as creamy and smooth as possible. Pop it in your high-speed blender, puree on high for as long as it takes. It's time to make our slurry, which we're gonna to add to the pureed sauce. We're gonna start with a half a cup of plant milk, two tablespoons potato starch, one tablespoon of tapioca starch. We're gonna mix those two together. We're basically gonna hydrate the starches before we add it to the sauce. It's time to thicken the carbonara sauce. We're gonna add our slurry to the sauce. We're gonna gently whisk the sauce until it comes to the very first boil. As soon as we hit that first boil, we're gonna reduce the heat, turn it off, and then we're gonna add our nutritional yeast. We're gonna whisk that in to combine, and we're gonna set the sauce aside until it's time to assemble the pasta carbonara. And then how about 
the pasta, what makes ours different. Right, so the pasta really, this is super interesting. Alex, his channel, it's not a vegan channel, but he does deep dive on carbonara right now. And I love what he's uh, explaining and how pasta can be treated like risotto and how it starts to release its starches when you cook it with the sauce. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cook the pasta al dente and we're really gonna emulsify our sauce with the starches from the pasta to really create that creamy, umptious, delicious bite that's out of this world. Dice the tofu pancetta in one inch squares. Dice as much as you like. More is better in this situation for me. Heat a medium sized nonstick pan over high heat. This step requires time and patience. We're gonna place the tofu in a hot pan with a generous amount of olive oil. We're gonna saute each and every tofu square until they are a deep brown. We really want the tofu crispy on the outside and just a little bit chewy on the inside. So take the time here to not burn the oil and make sure all of the tofu pancetta pieces are crispy and delicious. After cooking the pancetta, turn the pan off and just leave the pancetta and the oil in the pan. We're gonna use this pan to finish the entire dish, but first we're gonna cook the pasta. We're getting closer to bringing it all together. We're gonna cook our pasta next. This is a pretty important step. We have a large pot full of water that's seasoned with salt. We're gonna add our pasta to the boiling water. We're gonna stir the pasta to make sure it's not sticking to each other or the bottom of the pot. Now we're gonna cook the pasta very al dente. We're talking maybe seven minutes, eight minutes. It's best to check. There really has to be a nice amount of tooth to it. As soon as the pasta is almost done, you want to reserve a cup or more, maybe a cup and a half of the pasta cooking liquid. Okay, the pasta is cooked. We have our tofu pancetta in the saute pan. It's already on medium high heat. We're going to take the pasta right out of the water and into the saute pan. We want to start having the pasta releasing its starches, thickening up the water that's in the pan. We're going to add an additional amount of pasta water to it, and we're going to continue to cook and stir and toss. What's happening here is we're cooking the pasta through, we're finishing that, and at the same time, the starches are being released from the pasta, just like when you make risotto. Next, we're gonna hit the sauce with our fresh cracked black pepper. I'm very generous with this. And then we're gonna add about a quarter cup of our carbonara sauce. We're gonna hit it with a dash of the pasta liquid again. We're gonna start the incorporating, stirring, shaking, emulsifying, really bringing all of that sauce together. We're gonna finish cooking the pasta. It's all coming together into a homogenized carbonara sauce. You know the sauce is done when it's just coating the pasta. It's not so thick that it's sticking to the pasta, but it lightly coats the pasta. It's dripping off the pasta just a little bit, but it's also coating the tofu pancetta. You get the smokiness from the pancetta. You get the richness from the pancetta. You get the creaminess from the sauce. You got the al dente in the pasta. This really is a beautiful bite. And then you get the pop of the pepper. Woo, we really have it all coming together. Woo, let's go, I'm pretty excited, right? So we put the effort in, we made the pancetta, we made the sauce, we cooked the pasta, we emulsified it all together, and, and here we are. We have a plate, beautiful plate. The color is amazing. We have the pepper in there, I could smell it. It's really popping through. We have our pancetta, which I'm completely freaking out about and can't wait to dig into. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. that's so good. Man, all that caramelized molasses, the caramelized brown sugar, the mustard, the smoked paprika, the two hours of baking and glazing, the pancetta. Oh my God, it's well worth it. And then we have the sauce. It's got the perfect color. It's a little yellow, but not too yellow. It's creamy. You get the earthiness. You get the little bit of vinegar from the rice wine vinegar and the plum. And then you put that together with the al dente pasta that we emulsified in the pan. It's beautiful. I'm in love. I'm completely in love. And I think this is worth the seven years of, of waiting and delaying and procrastinating because I think we nailed pasta carbonara. I don't even think we need to put the word vegan in it. It's just pasta carbonara, people. So I want you to make it. I want you to try it. I want you to hit the thumbs up button. I want you to just do all the buttons. Let's go. And we'll see you next Saturday. Yeah.